Hi friends, welcome to .NET Mo. This is my fifth video in the series of Cursor Report Beginners Tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to display multiple tables in Cursor Report using an example. So we have to create a product report in that we have two tables. First table is for top five costly products and we will display zero stock products in the second table. So let's get started. This is my Visual Studio 2013. First of all, let me create a Windows Form application. For that, go to File, then New, then Project. Select Windows under Visual C Sharp, then select Windows Form application. Then name your application here. I will name it as Multiple Table in Crystal Report. Then select the location where you want to save this application here. Then click on OK. So here we have our brand new Windows Form application here. In order to avoid possible errors in this application, we have to make sure few points. For that, right click on the project. Then click on properties. From this target framework drop down, make sure that you are not selected client profile version of .NET framework then check your app config file in app config file we have to set use legacy v2 runtime activation policy to true that's it before adding any crystal report or data set, it is a best practice to add two separate folder for these two files. For that, right click on the project, then click on add, then new folder. I will name it as crystal report. Try to enter folder name without any space so that you can avoid future errors. Then we have to add one more folder for data set data set folder now let me show you my db part this is my management studio and here i have a table product its design looks like this product id product name product code amount and count and it has few rows now we need to add a new store procedure to generate product report. For that click on new query here. Start like this. Create pros. Then procedure name will be product report. As first of all we have to get top 5 costly products from our product tab. For that select top five star from product then order by amount in descending order in the next query we will select all products which has zero count for that select star from product where count equals zero in order to create this stored procedure click on this execute button here newly created stored procedure can be seen under this folder stored procedure here product report using this stored procedure product report we will generate product report now back to visual studio inside this data set folder i am going to add a new data set for product tables for that right click then click on add new item select data from the left panel then select data set you can name your data set here i will name it as ds product click on add so here we have to add two tables one for costly product and one for zero count product in order to add a new table right click then add 
data table you can name your table here i will name it as costly product now we need to add the columns for that right click then add column or you can use the shortcut control l then i am going to copy the column name from the management studio and pasting here like this we need four columns product name product code amount and count with this same structure we need one more table for zero count products for that right click on the table and copy then paste it here and rename the table as zero product save the data set next we are going to create the crystal report for that right click on crystal report folder then add new item then select reporting from the left panel then select crystal report then name your report here i will name it as crpt product report click on add keep the options as it is click on ok from this dialog box we have to select the data set let me expand the project data folder then expand it or dot net data sets inside that you can see our data set ds product here select the data set then click on this double arrow then click on finish so here we have our newly created crystal report and in this case we don't need these default elements so here you can see our data set and its tables here first of all i'm going to add a report header here for that right click then insert text object title will be product report right click on it then format object then font bold style then font size will be 12 click on ok let me expand the element so that you can see the complete text in it in order to add multiple tables in a single crystal report you have to use sub reports in the previous video we have discussed how to add sub reports in crystal report if you have not watched that video i have given the link in video description please go through that now i am going to add a crystal report in section 3 for that right click then insert sub report then place your sub report then it will open a new dialog box like this name your sub report here i will name it as costly product then click on report wizard then add this costly product table click on finish now click on ok now i am going to add one more sub report in details section one for that right click insert sub report place your sub report then i will name this sub report as zero product click on report wizard here then select second table zero product then click on finish then click on ok let me arrange them in a same line in this case i don't want this border for these sub reports 
and we have discussed how we can remove this border from sub report in the previous video for that right click on sub report then format object go to border select none from all of these four drop down then click on ok now you can see there is no border same thing can be applied for second sub report that's it now let's design these sub reports for that double click on them then remove default fields then i'm going to draw a table here with these columns product name product code amount and count let me select all of the column headers right click format multiple object then font bold style remove underline click on ok let me add a box now we need to add lines to separate these columns one more line to separate rows let me add a header here top 5 costly products right click on it format object font ball style keep the font as it is click on ok let me expand the header that's it now we need to do the same for this zero product sub report double click on it that's it we have designed both of these sub reports now let's check the main preview so here we have the two tables now let's check how we can display this crystal report inside our crystal report viewer now let me add a crystal report viewer into this form for that go to toolbox then under reporting heading you can see crystal report viewer drag them into form then go to properties of this crystal report viewer i will name it as crv viewer let me remove this tree view from here for that I will change this tool panel view to none. Now we are going to display this crystal report inside this crystal report viewer during the form load event. For that double click on this form. So we have the form load event here. Let me create an object of SQL connection object here. SQL connection. For that we have to import the namespace system.data.sql client object name will be sql corn equals new sql connection inside that we have to pass our database connection string for now i will copy paste the connection string here then after that i will open the con connection object sql corn by calling the function open then let's declare sql data adapter object as sql da equals new sql data adapter inside that first of all we have to pass the stored procedure name it is product report as a second parameter we will pass our sql connection object here 
then we will set the data adapter command type select command dot command type equals command type dot store procedure I will declare a data set here data set ds product equals new data set and we will fill the data adapter result into this data set ds product now we can close the SQL connection object here SQL con dot close now we want to pass these data into our crystal report before that I will create an object of the uh, report CRPT product report crystal report dot CRPT product report object will be CRPT product equals new object and now we can pass our data here CRPT product dot data base dot tables inside that we will pass our table name from our data set copy and pasting here then we can call set data source function inside that we will pass our first table from our data set let me copy this and pasting below that let me change this table name to zero product and for zero product second table will be passed and we will set this crystal report into a crystal report viewer crv dot report source first of all we will set it as null after that we will set with our crystal report CRPT product now let me run this application for that click on the start button here so here we have the form let me maximize that here we have the exact final output and we have to reduce the separation line thickness for that back to application then open our crystal report double click on sub reports then select the separation lines from the you can select all of them by holding control and clicking on them finally click finally right click on it then click on format multiple objects then select the least thickness width click on ok do the same for zero product sub report let me expand the sub report width let me run this application again so here we have the final perfect output in this video we have discussed how we can show multiple tables in crystal report thanks for watching this video you can download this demo project and its db script from the link given below in video description. You can find related video links in the video description. Please be subscribed to my channel .net more for more awesome videos like this. Please like and share this video with your friends and colleagues so that they can benefit from this. Don't forget to comment your feedbacks in the comment box below. Have a nice day. Bye.